Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where today I'm going to show you how to make a crock pot cowboy stew. It's going to be very hearty and comforting. For these cool blustery days, we're going to let this soup simmer all day. The house is going to smell amazing. Okay, if you're ready, go ahead and grab your crock pot and I'm going to show you how to put this one together. Okay, now in our cowboy stew, I'm going to be putting in two different types of meat, and the first one's going to be a ground beef. So what I like to do before I add ground beef into a crock pot is brown it up. So I've got about one tablespoon of some oil in my pan here. I'm just going to heat that over medium-high heat. We're going to add in, I got two pounds of ground beef, or you can go even down to one pound if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and add one onion chopped. All right, what I'm going to do now is just start chopping up my ground beef here with my meat chopper and brown this up and then I'm going to bring you back. Okay, so you want to drain your grease out of your ground beef. So we're going to go ahead and season our ground beef right now before we place it into our crock pot. Okay, I'm going to add some cumin for a little warmth. So I'm looking at about half a teaspoon. Okay, we've got some chili powder here. I'm probably going to put in about one teaspoon. Now, you can control your seasoning. So if you want less than that or a little bit more than that, you can do that. Okay, I'm going to put in some cracked black pepper. About half a teaspoon. Actually, that was salt. I picked up the wrong one. So you'll need about one and a half teaspoons of salt because it's going to have to salt everything that's going into the crock pot. There we go. And we'll go back to our cracked black pepper here. About half a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to add in some garlic. All right, one teaspoon. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add three tablespoons of flour. This is going to aid in our thickener in our stew. And we're going to go ahead and just coat the meat with it, kind of like you would stew meat. You would flour it first before you put it into the crock pot and brown it. So that's what we're doing here. I'm going to turn off the burner and we're just going to mix this all together. And then I'm going to place this in the bottom of the crock pot. It smells delicious. The other meat that I'm going to place into my crock pot here is sausage links. Now this is just a smoked sausage, kind of like a kielbasa, and I'm just going to cut it into circles, kind of like that, about a quarter of an inch. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take these four potatoes right here that I've peeled and washed off, and I'm going to cut those into bite-sized pieces. Okay, what kind of sausage would you put into your crock pot stew? Y'all make as much as you want. Now I'm using a six quart crock pot, so it's gonna hold a lot. This is, I think, one pound of sausage, and I got two pounds of ground beef in there. This is gonna be some great leftovers too. Yes, we like leftovers in the house. Okay, and I got my potatoes here, and I'm just going to just roughly cut those into bite-sized pieces. You want everything to be chunky, but you want to be able to fit it on a spoon also. <laughs> now, what's nice about ground beef is that you can cook it the night before, and then just put that in there with all of your seasonings and your chopped onion, and then 
mix it up and then add everything else if you want to do that. Okay, now we're going to add some good stuff to this. I've got some baked beans here. Now, if you want to use black beans or red beans, kidney beans, that's fine. Um, you know, this is a cowboy stew, so I'm going to be doing these baked beans right here. Now, this is a 28-ounce can, so I think I'm going to put about half of them in here. Now this is a country style, so it is flavored with bacon and extra brown sugar. So that's gonna be really good with the bacon in there. Now if you don't have beans with the bacon in there, you can certainly fry up some bacon and put it into your stew. Give it that smoky bacon flavor. Okay, I'm using some Rotel tomatoes. Now you can use the regular diced tomatoes and then you can use some green chilies if you want to do that. I'm just using this right here. It's got the both flavors in there. So we're going to add that. And I'm going to add about um, half a cup or one cup of corn. Now you can use canned corn or frozen corn. I'm just going to finish that bag up right there. Okay, I'm going to add some parsley, let's see, okay now we're going to give it some liquid and I'm using some beef broth here and I'm going to put about two cups in there. I don't want to make this really soupy because this is going to be a stew and there's going to be lots of things in there that's going to release a lot of juices. And then you can monitor it throughout the day and see if you need to add more liquid to it. And just remember that the meat has the flour in it, which will help thicken up our stew. All right, I'm gonna mix this all together. My husband's happy about this one. He loves this stew here. It's got so many things in there. It's very hearty, very comforting. Oh, it'll warm you from the inside out, right? Yeah, it's a good meal when you're coming home from out on the range <laughs> at the Rhodes Ranch. What's that? At the Rhodes Ranch. <laughs> That's funny. Get ready to have your house smell amazing all day. Got my lid on. I'm going to cook this on low for like six to eight hours. We want the potatoes to be thoroughly cooked through and then everything heated through. Now if you want to do a fast track on this, you can cook this about four to five hours. <laughs> All right, I will see you back here and show you what this delicious stew looks like. Okay, look how delicious this looks. Look at that thick stew broth here. Mm, it's got that chili, the cumin, the green peppers, or the chili peppers actually. And we got the sausage and the ground beef, the potatoes. Mm. All right, I'm gonna find me a nice size bite here and try this for you. Mm. Mm. Wow, it is so comforting, so delicious. It's a very thick, hearty stew gravy here oh my gosh it is so delicious mm. all right and don't forget those pork and beans that we put in here oh yeah gives it a more depth of flavor to it okay who's ready for a bite i got your bowl right here okay give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also make sure y'all comment down below what you think what you would add or what you would take away all right, I'm taking my bowl away and going to go eat. I will see y'all on the next episode.